And we're live. Don't get to like and subscribe to the Fellowship of Joy YouTube channel. Check out our website, fellowshipofjoy.ca. Hello, welcome back. Sorry, I'm a little late. I was on a phone call. I, I apologize. Why are you switching it? No, we have to go. Okay. Tonight we are reading from Acts. I, I can't. I don't even know where we are. 15. Okay, Acts chapter 15, verse 1. Welcome to a moment of joy. Certain people came down from Judea to Antioch. Here's what they were teaching the believers. Moses commanded you are to be circumcised, they said. If you aren't, you can't be saved. But Paul and Barnabas didn't agree with this. They argued strongly with them, so Paul and Barnabas were appointed to go to Jerusalem. Some other believers were chosen to go with them. They were told to ask the apostles and elders about this question. The church sent them on their way, and they traveled through Phoenicia and Samaria. They were told how the Gentiles had turned to God. This news made all the believers very glad. When they arrived in Jerusalem, the church welcomed them. The apostles and elders welcomed them too. Then Paul and Barnabas reported everything God had done through them. Some of the believers were Pharisees. They stood up and said the Gentiles must be circumcised. They must obey the law of Moses. The apostles and elders met to consider this question. After they had talked it over, Peter got up and spoke to them. Brothers, he said, you know that some time ago God chose me. He appointed me to take the good news to the Gentiles. He wanted me to hear the good news. He wanted them to hear the good news and believe. God knows the human heart. By giving the Holy Spirit to the Gentiles, he showed that he accepted them. He did the same for them as he does for us. God showed that there is no difference between us and them. That's because he made their hearts pure because of their faith. Now then, why are you trying to test God? You test him when you put a heavy load on the shoulders of the Gentiles. Our people long ago couldn't carry that load. We can't either. No. We believe we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus. The Gentiles are saved in the same way. Everyone became became quiet as they listened to Barnabas and Paul. They were telling about the signs and wonders that God had done through them among the Gentiles. When they were finished, James spoke up. Brothers, he said, listen to me. Simon Peter has explained to us what God has now done. He has chosen some of the Gentiles to be among his very own people. The prophet's words agree with that. They say, after this I will return and set up again David's fallen tent. I will rebuild what was destroyed. I will make it what it used to be. Then everyone else can look to the Lord. This includes all the Gentiles who belong to me, says the Lord. The Lord is the one who does these things. The Lord does things that have been known for long ago. Now here's my decision. We should not make it hard for the Gentiles who are turning to God. Here is what we should write to them. They must not eat food that has been made impure by offering it to statues of gods. They must not commit sexual sins. They must not eat the meat of animals that has been choked to death. And they must not drink blood. These laws of Moses have been preached in every city from the earliest times. They are read aloud in the synagogues every Sabbath day. Any questions? No? <sighs> Any questions on there? No. Alright. Do we currently eat any meat that is choked? Not that I know of. I, I, that would make very little sense. I mean, How can you every, choke a pig with its neck? Yeah, like every yeah, uh, that that's not it. That'd be a very poor practice in butchery. So yeah, plus it'd be really difficult to do, especially with chicken. Well, that would be the only way you could maybe, but yeah, but no, we we always take the heads directly off our chickens. That's what this particular axe is for. 
That's why it's got a short handle on it. Short. Yeah. Any, any other questions? No. All right. Any prayer requests? No. All right. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for all that you've given us. We thank you for uh, for your your word and your Bible. We pray that we are saved by faith in you, and not by following rules that are impossible to follow. We thank you for your forgiveness. Praise you, Lord Jesus, as we pray on Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, we'll see you tomorrow evening for another moment of joy. Bye bye.